Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria, and today I wanted to get into my new updated mommy makeup routine. So now you guys know that I have a new addition to my family, and my little baby Carter is here, and that really just limits the amount of time that I have to glam myself up in the morning. And usually, to be honest, on a day-to-day -day basis, I either wear no makeup, or very, very minimal makeup. Um, maybe something underneath the eyes because as you can tell, if you look at my old videos and you look at my videos now, I just feel like my skin looks a lot more, a lot different. Um, I'm unrested because you know, I'm just not sleeping at night, like to be just to be quite honest. So I find that I just have to kind of more so just hide the darkness that's underneath my eyes, hide the bags, kind of just, you know, even this out here a little bit more. So I'm trying to use products right now that kind of bring more life back into my skin and less of things that are making me a little bit more matte nowadays. So as I mentioned, let's get into it. We're going to be doing this little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. We'll talk mommy stuff and we will get this face looking better than it is, right? So yeah stick around and let's get to it all right so for me the main thing for me is to hydrate my lips because my lips are feeling so dry i'm breastfeeding and just not sleeping enough blah blah, blah. so i'm not drinking enough water there's just so many things right like i'm trying to balance everything and what i've been loving is this grande lips and it's a lip hydrating lip plumper it does plump your lips a little bit it's nothing crazy od but it does hydrate it quite a bit and this does stay on your lips throughout the day so what i like to do is just kind of leave this on just to, just at the beginning of my makeup routine just so that i could have some hydrated lips and then i'll kind of wipe that off and use something more pigmented or if you wanted to just slap on some gloss you can so this is what i will be adding right now All right, so I had to clip my hair back because it was just driving me crazy. So, um, like I said, I just added the lip gloss and now what I think that you really need to invest in is a good primer. So the primer that I've been loving is this Tatcha. It's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way and sometimes you can just get away with just using this primer alone because it does do something so magical to your skin. I don't know, it fills in your pores and it makes it look nice and even. You don't get too oily looking. This is really good. I would definitely invest in it. It is an investment, but it is a good one. Um, another one that I like that's from the drugstore that just kind of gives you that filled in pore look, you know, so that your pores aren't all out there and crazy is the Maybelline Baby Skin. And I love that stuff. Like that stuff is so good. The only thing that it, it that it doesn't do is like kind of give you that all over, um, I don't know, like silk ca silk canvas like the Tatcha one does. That that one just kind of fills in your pores pretty much. That's it, and it does mattify you just a little bit, but it mostly fills in your pores. And sometimes when you're just looking at bare skin, you could see all your pores. So that's why I would probably recommend that one. This one does it all, so it evens out everything. It looks great. So. I just take a little bit and I just add that in, add that all over my skin. And it smells so good on you. And another key is to moisturize because if you don't moisturize, forget it. Your skin looks, is not gonna, no matter what makeup you use, if your skin isn't looking right, then forget it. And that's what I've been having to work on is just, um, getting my skin back to where it was because it has changed so much. So now that I am primed, I'm gonna go in with a concealer. And I really don't use any foundation on an everyday basis. So the concealer that I've been loving lately is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And I use the shade C8. Sorry if this looks crazy. I'm sorry, but I can't do my makeup without it. Um, and all I'm doing with this is I'm just going to do a few dots. So I'm literally going to do dot, 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 dot. And again on this side, just a couple of dots. Down the bridge of my nose. Up here. I don't put it in between my brows because I have... 
it seems like I have just kind of like a lot of pores there so I don't like to put this in because by the end of the day it'll break up and it'll look like I had makeup on and the key is to kind of not look like you have any makeup on that you look really put together without it so um, I'm just gonna add some to the top of my eyelids because there is a little bit of discoloration and if you just do your under eyes and don't do your lids even if you're not putting any eyeshadow or anything it's gonna look weird like you're gonna look like something's missing um, and then I just put some on my chin because I do have some like breakouts and right here I used to put it here but then I found like sometimes it would give me a white cast and I didn't really like you just gonna take your damp beauty blender and go ahead and just blend that in And all I'll do is like the part that's here. If you have any redness, just kind of take whatever you have left over and work it into your brows before you draw your brows in. This way any of that redness kind of just settles away. And also to hit the sides of your nose because um, we're naturally red there. Pretty every woman, pretty much every woman is like red in that area because of hormone. It's like hormonal. So now that you look like Crasper the ghost, you are going to go ahead and bring some life back into your face. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm just gonna set my under eyes and it's important to set because um, if you're running around with the kids or you're just running, running errands and you're just out all day, you want this makeup to last. You don't want it to look like, you know, you put in a little bit of effort and it's all gone. So you just take that I'll go ahead and set under your eyes. And I use my damp beauty, my damp beauty blender to do that. And I'm going on the top of my lids because like I said, when we did um, put the concealer down, we put it on top of the lid and you don't want it to crease because then it'll look like you're wearing makeup. Okay, so now that I have that down, um, I'm going to add some bronzer. I'm using my Wet n Wild blush brush for that. I'm using the Physician's Formula uh, Butter Bronzer or Bronze Booster, whatever this one is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just add some color back into my skin because like I said, when I did, because like when I did put the concealer down it just kind of took everything away from my face so I'm just adding that back in and yes I know I'm like missing my brows but I'm going to get to that and I like this I like this wet and wild brush because it doesn't deposit too much so you could kind of like build up to where you want it to be and um, it just spreads it so quickly and evenly and I, I really like that so this bronzer shade isn't too isn't too much darker than my skin. So I really could kind of pack it on and use it a little bit as a powder foundation. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just adding some dimension to my skin. So now what's next is this uh, Milani Prep Set and Glow. I like this stuff because it will bring some luminosity to your skin and it doesn't leave you looking so like matte and just blah uh, it gives you a nice sheen without looking really shiny so this is definitely something that's really nice and I'm using this equate bronzer brush uh, but it's just perfect for all over the face and I'm not sure if you could see it but it is bringing some just some dewiness back into the skin that is that I didn't I don't think that it took away any of the bronzer or anything like that I'm um, just gonna add a little bit more just in case it did then I'm just gonna hit my cheeks with a little bit of to do that I'm going to be using this Maybelline fit me in the shade rose Claire it's a really nice pink shade and it has some like nice little reflex of glitter so it gives your cheeks a nice flush Okay, so now I'm going to get into my brows, and the reason why I do that last is because it takes me the longest to do, and um, only because I have to kind of even them out 
one doesn't have enough hair on it so it makes it look flat and the other one has a nice arch so i need to kind of work on that part basically all i do is i just take this and this is the elf brow pencil it's only two dollars and it works so nicely because i like the tone the i like the color of this brow pencil for my hair and everything like that and my skin tone and it's it just really nicely fills in my brows and all i do is i just put in little strokes wherever i have some sparse hairs because i don't want to have like a full um glammed brow when i'm just going to be running errands or just running around with my kids at their practice or whatever it is so yeah that's all i will do and i'll just show you really quickly what I'll So you want to when you get to the front of your brows kind of flick it up the rest of it just go with go with the flow of the hair and then just spoolie the front out because you just you don't want to you don't want it to look too harsh so now that the brows are done i just like to put mascara on if you want to go ahead and put some false lashes by all means do so but i just like to curl my lashes and i'm using the l'oreal luminous lash paradise um in black is black and i'll go ahead and like i said curl my eyelashes so a funny little thing is that in college i would not go out of my dorm without i would not leave my dorm without curling my eyelashes so if my roommates are watching you know you know that that is essential to me and it still is so i will take my mascara and i will go ahead and just add that to my lashes this is a really nice mascara um but i think i still like the maybelline colossal big shot a little bit more but i know a lot of people love this one It's up to you if you want to hit your lower lash line. I don't because I notice that throughout the day, sometimes I do rub my eyes or I will get like watery because I have really sensitive eyes. So I just kind of leave that alone just so it doesn't smudge all over the place or just kind of transfer underneath my eyes. And I think it just looks a lot more open. And this is honestly what I do. And what I will go ahead and do is just add some highlight because that's me. I love to use is the MAC Soft and Gentle because like, it's just so perfect. It's just really nice, soft, and this is the perfect name for it because it is soft and gentle. And then I just added just a little bit, and if you wanna set it in, just take your powder brush, just take your powder brush and just kind of stamp it in. Just so you don't have anything too harsh and you know it just kind of blends in nicely and then for the lips i just usually take a liner and just um just line all over and fill in my lips this is the best way for it to last all day because liners for some reason kind of seem to just stick to my lips a lot better than lipstick does and it transfers a lot more this really just kind of stays on my lips and this is the milani spice yeah you guys know me um this is milani spice yep And then the last but not least, you can just add some setting spray. You can use whatever setting spray you like, whatever you know, you're know you into. I like personally Milani Make It Last. You can use Urban Decay All Nighter if you feel like you, know, you really want this to be locked and loaded for the rest of the day. I like to personally use something that's a little bit more hydrating because like I said, my skin is very dull right now. So I've been using the Mario Badescu skincare uh, facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And it just really gives you like a refreshed look and it makes you feel refreshed. It smells delicious. Like I wish I could spray you and you can smell it right now, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray myself. Oh my God, it smells so... Mm. it smells so good um 
but yeah that is it I'm gonna let this dry so yeah this is it this is what I do on a daily basis as you can tell it kind of just brought some life back to my face right so that Milani stuff really does make it look a little bit more luminous putting some highlight on the you know cheekbones and down the bridge of your nose just wherever you feel like you want it to be a little bit more intense really does help and it really does bring some glow to your face and us mommies we need to glow too so don't forget about yourself make sure you take care of yourself make sure you're taking time to do you know prep yourself a little bit because it really does help you throughout the rest of the day at least for me personally if i feel good i look good i act good i'm a nice mom um i'm a nice wife so yeah just put yourself together a little bit um make yourself feel good and you will feel good for the rest of the day so thank you again for joining me and tuning in i will be back on wednesday with a review video so mondays will be makeover mondays or makeup mondays and then wednesdays are what's up wednesdays where i review products and i let you know how i feel about them um, whether it's concealer, foundation, new palettes, whatever the case may be. And then Friday is Family Fridays. So join me here to see part two of my C-section story. The first one was uploaded last Friday. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe down below and join the fam so that you are updated with more of my videos. And let me know what you like to see. And I will see you next time. Bye. Peace.